Good morning everybody and welcome back to day one post operation for Nala being spared. So she's had an okay night. She laid in a cage until, I don't know, 11 o'clock ish. And then she come and laid in bed with me. I've got this bed here. This is my bed. So she came and laid on bed with me all night. And the only thing she wanted to do was be on my face, basically. So she laid on my face all night. I'll turn you back round now so you can see me, my beautiful face. So, as you can see, we're on air bed. And yeah, she has slept with me all night on an air bed. And I'm not kidding. A face were on my face. She and some scrambled egg last night at, I don't know what time it was, 11, 12 o'clock-ish. Nala, Nala. No licking legs, thank you. Good girl. Anyway, Cerberus is on his way in. I'll come back in a minute. All right, so I think we'll stay down here with me. And Nala, Nala's in a cage. Uh, hopefully she's just gonna rest all day, put her like a blanket. In fact, I've taken the blanket out of the bed and put it over the, what you call it? Because I'm not kidding. It is absolutely freaking Baltic in this house on a night down here. Ooh. And I mean, Baltic. Uh, it's a good job I got her outside of me because she'll keep me warm. I didn't have no fan on. The fan on the machine, that there, kept working in night because it fan. The temperature on the thing is 25. Anyway. She did have a good night. Uh, she did toss and turn all night long. Uh, she were laid with a face on my face, a belly on my face. Well, not a belly, but a side. Uh, <laughs> she wanted me to put her arm around her. But then she wanted to put a pause on my hand. So she were like... A pause were at each side of my arm type of thing. It was weird. Anyway, I'm going to go because Scarlet's fetching Winston and Fifi down. Right, that's all the dogs seen to. They've all been out. Uh, James took William to uni. Oh, James took William to uni. Scarlet's got dentist at 10 o'clock. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get there. Excuse me. I'm in the middle of drinking a cup of coffee. Cheers. Uh, I'm sat watching GMTV, but I have got some soaps to watch. So I'm probably just going to lay here on my airbed, watch some soaps while Jamie comes back. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do because I can't do nothing. She's laid asleep. Uh, hopefully she'll sleep while I make her a food. I'm going to make her a food and then I'm going to give her a bit at 12 o'clock-ish and then 4 o'clock-ish and then potentially 8 o'clock-ish because at 12 o'clock she can have some painkillers because that's what time they gave her, painkillers. And she can only have it every 24 hours. I'd have thought that they'd have said space it out between... Uh, like, she's supposed to have 15 mil or somewhere. I'd have thought that they'd have said space it out and give her five mil every f f three times a day. Anyway, I'm going to sit and I'm going to watch something on telly. I've got Tinkerbell down here. And then she's in a cage, laid asleep. I'm going to change a bit. Um, I'm going to change a sleep suit. I've got one coming today, a bigger one, just to 
uh, extra large one, not a large. I think it could be a little bit too big for her. Uh, but I don't want... This one, like, is a little bit tight right now. Well, it's not tight. That's not... The, it's not tight at all. But, you know, when she's laid, it, it like, pulls tight. And I don't know if that's supposed to happen. But anyway, I've got another one coming in an extra large. We'll see what that looks like. If that's no good, we'll put the large on. And then we'll wash that one, dry it. And then we've got two. I've got also another one. But I don't want to put that on until at least she's, like, going on to be, like, seven, eight, nine days post-op. It's going to be a long week and a bit. But we'll get there. We always do. And where dogs being split around the house, it's it's just one of them things, isn't it? So I'm gonna say, have my coffee. I'm gonna put some on, and I will check in with you when I'm doing a food. Right, I've cooked up some eggs. I've cooked up fish. The fish is here cooling down. We've got some blueberries, bananas, sweet potatoes, and broccoli. Now I'm going to wait all that and then I'm going to make it up and then it'll be split three times a day for her, not just one big meal. So she'll have like, say 400 grams of food, but it'll be split over three meals, if you know what I mean. I just haven't got enough containers to do three meals at a, each one. So I'm going to put it all together and then it's a way out each portion. So this is white fish. We've got blueberries, bananas, sweet potatoes and broccoli. And then we've got some scrambled eggs there. So I'm just going to mix it all together for her and that's what she's going to have because it's a bland diet for her right scarlet's back from dentist jamie's took her uh jamie were back from taking william his times have all changed oh yeah uh completely and utterly changed uh so anyway that's by the by scarlet's had a tooth out she's home she's upstairs she's gonna have a sleep uh a mass all numb my spot spot uh i'm laid here watching what i need to catch up on on soaps nala's laid asleep i'm waiting for the food to cool down so i can portion the fish up into the rest of the food and then she's got the food so she's got some bananas blueberries she's got fish scrambled eggs broccoli sweet potatoes i'm just going to give her bits every few hours she's had scrambled eggs this morning uh so I shall probably give her some at about half past 12 with some painkillers. Hopefully that'll take her while tomorrow. And if she needs painkillers tomorrow, then I've got it anyway. Paid, I paid uh, extra to fetch some painkillers home for her. Uh, but up to now, she's asleep in a cage. I'm going to give it while at least... Postman's here, Jamie. At least two o'clock. And then I'm going to change a dress... Uh, body suit um, and then put her a clean body suit on <laughs> she's having a good meal I've just put some medication in it for her good girl well my little baby girl is in a cage sleeping I've changed uh, post op suit, other ends in wash, needs to be put in dryer. Uh, but I think I'm gonna have a quick half an hour sleep because I'm tired. Right, uh, I've had a sleep because I was tired because I'd been up half at night with her, and I were up this morning at half seven because you know everybody come downstairs. Maybe before. Anyway, I've had a little sleep. She's had her food. She's now still laid in her bed. I've changed her uh, 
post-op suit. It's in dryer drying. And I've just got a pie on. I'm going to have pie and mash with some gravy, I think, for my tea. And then these will have whatever they're having. Uh, it's entirely up to them what they cook. You've left light on and you've left door open. So she's laid in a bed in a crate. She's going to have a couple of hours in a crate. And then later on, after we you know we try and take her out, she's not been out. Well, she has been out. She's not had a wee or a pool yet though. Uh, but today is the first day that she's had. Uh, she had eggs this morning, and then I made food up for her to space it out. And she's had food at twelve o'clock, and she's had food at five o'clock. So she's not having no more now. While tomorrow, and then tomorrow she'll have. Uh, food at morning well she might have food at 12 o'clock to have weight a medication and then she'll have food at five o'clock so i'll split the food uh and then what food we've got all right now tinkerbell leave her alone she's asleep or she's laid comfy uh and then no doubt tonight she'll come and lay on bed with me because that's what she does uh, I haven't checked it because I've slightly checked it when we've took a suit off to put new suit on but you have to be very quick she'll, she's not a lay down uh, so let's just nip it out so we're going to get a couple of days well every, every day when I change well I'm going to leave this now two days because there's no blood it's all dried the ones in things being dried uh that's going to be the spare and i've got one coming so she is doing okay she's had a medication and she just lays in her bed and she's just sleepy as long as i can get a week out of her i'm 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 okay with that now cerberus has just come down and gone to cage and she snarled at him so i don't know whether she's snarling because she's protective of herself I don't know, we will see after a, after a week or so or what she's going to be like. So yeah, so that that's the situation we're at uh, at minute. I've got I've got my nighty here. Uh, I've got my tens machine on. I shall probably put my nighty on later. And if not, I might just sleep in this t-shirt and I've got my leggings on and then tomorrow I'll have a bath uh, and a shower because I think tomorrow she'll be it it will have like she's a pocket rocket what what can i say if i let her she would bounce about but she's i'm I, i'm trying to keep her as calm as possible because i know what it's like like i know i think about when i think about had her she were jumping up in bed and jumping down off bed but i don't want her to be a pocket rocket and it cut up and, and x y and z if you know what i mean so we're going to be calm for a week. Not get me wrong, it's not uncomfy this bed. Uh, it's just a ball it when you've... I'm not taking it down to put it back up when I can lay on bed and watch telly. I've watched a film this afternoon and I've watched something else. I can't remember what I've watched. Uh, so, yeah, so we're going to get settled in for night. My pie's on for 25 minutes. I'm going to put my mash on. I'm going to have my tea. And then if push comes to shove later, I will have uh, some out of my free from stuff. So Scarlett's been awarded two courses to do at university. Uh, one is accountancy and something else. And one is something else can't remember uh, so she's gonna accept one course basically i don't know which one it is i think it's roughly the same one that william's doing just the year later but luckily she probably won't go to london because they're building a center here she'll just have to go every day basically so she'll not go down london which is a good thing uh, william's been in uni all day today, Jamie's gone through to pick him up. And yeah, what what can I say? 
Scarlett's doing amazingly. She's got accepted in for these two courses. Which one she chooses, I don't know. So yeah, so super, super, super proud of, of going to, for going to university. I never had the opportunity. My I didn't even go to college. I went straight into work. Right, it is later on and everybody has eaten their tea. We are now all settling down for the evening. It is currently maybe seven o'clock-ish, just after seven o'clock-ish, maybe eight o'clock-ish. And Tinkerbell's upstairs. William's upstairs, he's shattered. He's had a busy, busy day today. Uh, nine hours in university and he had basically 20 minutes to get some quick to eat so he had a packet of crisps because they've like gone in seminars and they've had two hour seminars this and two hour seminars that and spoke about this and spoke about that sorry if you can hear the creaking uh, it is the dog walking round upstairs. Nala's in a crate. I'm going to watch this programme. I'm going to go and brush my teeth after this. Then I'm going to sit and watch a film, get covered up with my jammers and watch TV with Nala laid on bed take her out see if she'll do anything and then if not tomorrow we probably will take her for a little bit of a uh not too much just around cul-de-sac basically anyway i hope everybody's had a great day uh tomorrow hopefully she will be a little bit more better and yeah the salt is dried uh, so that's going to come out and that's going to air off now. Um, what else have we to do? Nothing really. Just keep warm because it is absolutely bloody Baltic down here in this living room. Really, really, really cold. Really, really, really cold. Otherwise I might need to have a chunkier quilt. Thanks for watching everyone and I hope everybody has enjoyed this little bit of a catch up on our Nala's.